Hey everyone, today I'm at the Oakwood Cemetery in Waco, Texas. I thought we would just take a look around at some of the monuments that are here and see how magnificent and beautiful they are. As you can see here, this is the main road into the cemetery lined with lots of trees. Some of them are in the middle of the road painted with white so that you don't hit them. This one says McClendon. Right in front of it is Samuel Proctor McClendon, 1867 to 1915. And then beside him is his wife, Mabel Beard McClendon, 1871 to 1954. This is certainly eye-catching within the cemetery. It's an unusual piece of art. Not something that you see all of the time. But there's a marker right in front of it. Charles George Smith, 1891 to 1967. And Cornelia Marshall Smith, 1895 to 1997. Strange cosmic curve, integral arc of space, and rolling rhythm swinging out from time into eternity. It's a poem by Charles G. Smith named Trajectory. It's a figure up top there holding a hat, all dressed up in a suit and an overcoat. Date is 1901. It says, At Rest, J.C. Riley, August 6, 1841, to September 25, 1900. And below is his wife, Alice Wrench Riley, March 27, 1848 to February 4, 1938. And it says Riley, and below that it says Endowed. This is one of the large trees that's right in the middle of the road. And they've painted it white so that you can notice it and not hit it because tree that size it's not budging but your car sure will this is another mcclendon final resting place it's actually a large family plot as you look at the borders but it also has this large centerpiece here jesse sumter mcclendon 1838 to 1909 and Sally Proctor McClendon, 1844 to 1927. This one says Graham on it. Reaches pretty high up there. Here we have Thomas B. Barton, 1847 to 1922, and Agnes T., his wife, 1850 to 1905. And this large one here is belonging to the family of Taylor. There's several people that it's notating on there. This one is from the Thomason family. And as you can see here, there are quite a few that are designated on that large piece right there. Hopefully there's not too much glare on the camera, but there's a pretty neat figure that's up there, well-dressed with a hat on the side and hand on the hip. This is way up there, and it is marking the Baker family. Quite a few names on this as well. And as you look around, there are a lot of monuments here. 
notating different family members. There are even some other bakers that are over here that have angels on their location. So this angel is standing in front of the cross and looking down upon members of the Cooper family who are located just in front and all of the headstones are facing that angel. This is notating that it is the West family. And there are quite a few around it as well. Here we have the family plot for Bostwick. July 25th, 1814, and died December 12th, 1890. Notating multiple family members all the way around it, and they are located on this side. This is a neat little family plot area. Barons is the last name. It has several with planters there. The plants are long gone. But I really like this centerpiece here. H. Barons, February 28th, 1852 to December 17th, 1905. And there's a bust of him up there. Sarah Bassett McCulloch died March 31st, 1885, at age 59 years old. These two rows of small markers are the Lacey family. 
and they have a figure at the end of their rectangle. Here we have a father and mother, John S. Napier on the left, born in Pennsylvania County, Virginia on December 23rd, 1807 and died December 13th, 1889. On the other side, we have Mary Napier, born in Wake County, North Carolina, August 12th, 1817, and died April 28th, 1972. You'll notice these two gentlemen, one on the left and one on the right. They are staring right at each other. Mr. Coke on the left and Mr. Wallace on the right. This is the figure that's on top of the Coke monument. As you can see here, there's also a bust on the right. And one on the left, but the head is missing. Belongs to Richard Coke, characterized by a splendid manhood, the brave soldier, the able and impartial judge, the enlightened and patriotic governor, the distinguished senator in Congress for 18 years always true to the people and faithful to every trust. Born March 18, 1829 and died May 14, 1897. This is Richard's government marker, Captain and Company K, 15th Texas Infantry, Confederate States Army. And as you can see, there are other family members located within this family plot. This is the figure on the other side that is having a gander at Mr. Cope. This is Dr. David Richard Wallace. He was born in 1825 and died November 21st, 1911. He also has a government marker notating that he was in the Confederate States Army. In front of the large monument is this little placard. It says he was educated as a physician and he was a North Carolina native. And he moved to Texas in the 1850s and taught at Baylor University in Independence and in Waco. He served in the Civil War in Waco, he was a prominent doctor, educator, civic leader who was instrumental in the formation of the state and local medical associations. An early pioneer in psychiatry, he was named as the head of the asylum facilities in Austin and Terrell. This monument is notating the Allison family. This one says Hoon, I think, H-O-E-H-N. This is a Waco Fire Department monument that's here and around it are designating different firefighters. And then there are quite a few that are laid to rest around this. This one is for the Ross family. Once again, it's notating several names around the monument. 
Here we have Shapely P. Ross. Says he was a Mason and also a former Texas Ranger. And then Catherine Ross right there, a mother of Texas. Over here we have Peter Ross, Company G, 6th Texas Cavalry, Confederate States Army. And there's also a former Texas Ranger emblem there as well. There are quite a few members of the Ross family. This family plot is in the shape of an L. That large one right there is the Mann family, M-A-N-N, -N, and all of its family members are around it as well. You can see another large one right across the street. There are a lot of magnificent looking memorial markers in here, monuments, statues, this is still very much an active cemetery and you'll see all sorts of styles of burials because it's so old. The trends have changed. But it's interesting to drive around and take a look or even just walk around. This is truly the type of cemetery that you could spend hours in looking around and researching. I'm sure there's a lot more history here than we'll ever know. As I was driving around, I was seeing different soldiers and service members that passed away during World War II, Vietnam, Korea, and even Operation Enduring Freedom. So pretty moving to see stuff like that in here. A lot of service members, a lot of members of society uh, that were important to Waco and to Texas. A lot of these people, you can see different things that were street names and stuff like that in here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.